Thank you. It looks great. No problem. Anything else I can get for you? I think we're good for now. I think we're great. Enjoy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> How's that look? Looks really good. going to work? Yep. Tiny house, prepper. Lord, thank you so much for how you've provided you know, me this food. Just truly be to our nourishment. Thank you for how faithful you are. And ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, everybody. I'm Bill. Hi. <laughs> and I'm Elizabeth with Tiny House Prep. Yep. And we are here to have breakfast as we're on our way to our little cottage trailer. Yes. It's amazing how many things we have to do in prep, you know, <laughs> to get to get going. Especially because, you know, we don't know what we're doing. We've never done this before. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to do everything. So we got lots of little things that we have to do in the trailer, in the cottage, to to tweak it, to make it the way we want it, to make it ours. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're very eager to get started since we've we've owned it all winter and it's just been sitting there and haven't we haven't been able to touch it. So after we have breakfast here, we're going to head over and start doing those little things. We'll take you along. Yep. <laughs> Enjoy your food, sweetie. I will. Thank you. There it is. Here we go. So let me tell you a couple of the things that I've learned. <clears throat> this right here is an emergency brake for the trailer. It's got a cable right here that's a, supposed to attach to the truck and then if this should ever come detached and the trailer goes off on its own, that will pull this little cylinder switch right here, pull it out and actuate the brakes on the trailer so that it won't just take off on its own. This is broken. It won't attach to the trailer. So the other day, we have a, an RV repair shop real close to here. So the other day on my maiden voyage on the trailer, I hitched it up and I took it down there. It's only a couple miles away to see if he could fix this. And uh, I was standing inside describing it to him. He said, oh yeah, sure, we can replace that. And then he said, have you gotten the, does it have an inspection? Because I would have, he said, I would have uh, discovered that during the inspection. And I said, uh, the trailer requires an inspection? Well, this was news to me because I've been pulling trailers here for years, you know, uh, utility trailers, construction trailers, and things like that, and they never needed an inspection. And he said, oh, yeah, he said, any trailer over 3,000 pounds is required to have brakes on the trailer, and because of that, our state requires an annual safety inspection for the trailer. So I made arrangements for, uh, with him to go in and have it uh, inspected. And he said he would have, you know, discovered this anyway and he'll fix that for me. But I said, uh, so is there a sticker someplace? I hadn't seen an inspection sticker. And he said, yeah, it's, a, it's on the window on the driver's side, the first window. So I went to look at it and see what the current inspection was. The inspection sticker that's on there expired in December of, tw of 2013. This is now May of 2018. Anyway, I'm confident that it's going to pass inspection, so that's not going to be an issue. But uh, hopefully in a couple days I'll get this, this thing fixed and we'll get it inspected, and then we'll be good to go. So we're going to test out this new mattress on this bed. The slide is still in, so this is kind of in the way, but we can still get through there. The slide is in because we're parked here next to that truck, that van over there, and also the battery is not in the trailer right now, so I have no power to move the slide out. But we'll get her done. Yeah, there's still plenty of room in here. Yeah, you can see that uh, even with the slide in, 
it's still usable. We can still set up the bed and still go to spend the night here. All right, so I got the exposure adjusted so you can actually see me instead of being a total silhouette against the light behind me. You're such a handsome silhouette. <laughs> yeah, thanks. <laughs> so I'm sitting here in the bed, the fold-out bed in the front of the, of the trailer, and the mattress here that comes with it is only two inches thick, if that. I bet that's only an inch and a half. The thing is, I don't think they can make it much thicker and have it fold up properly. Yeah, apparently there's just, when you fold it up, there just isn't room for, for a thick mattress. So, but this just isn't going to get it. And the guy we bought it from said, um, you're going to want to add some extra padding to the bed. <laughs> so we did. So we got this one, and then we just purchased from Walmart a four-inch uh, mattress pad. It's two inches of... Uh, Let's see what it says uh, here. Of foam, uh, what do they call it? Okay, it's two inches of support foam support and two foam. inches of memory foam. Yeah, two inches of support foam and two inches of memory foam. We're going to put that on top of here and see how it works. Hopefully it's going to be good. Yep, I'm excited. Ooh. Looks like this is a cover. Excellent. Oh, that feels much better already. <laughs> Just sitting on it. Yeah, this has got a mattress cover. Yeah, I'm so glad. Give it a proper test. You want one of these cushions? No, that's too big. <sighs> yeah, I think that's gonna work. Good. Yep. Now the idea is that when we're ready to fold the bed up, we can just take this mattress on top and roll it up put a bungee or a belt around it and then there's a place right behind this wall right in here where it can just stand up for travel mm -hmm. and then when we get to where we're going we pop out the bed take the mattress out and unroll it and there we go I cool. think this is gonna work cool yep this is great I tried stretching out on it it's very comfortable isn't it nice we've got the windows unzipped and we're gonna be able to get just wonderful cross breeze in here. I'm looking forward to that so much. I can actually get up in this bed easier than my bed at home. We have that little stool that I have to use to get up in my bed at home and to get into the truck. But here I can just get up on here no problem. We made the decision, this is a queen size bed area, but we made the decision to get um, a full size. We're used to sleeping on that at home anyway. And that way I know I've already got sheets that are going to work. I don't have to buy separate ones. So. I think it's going to be very comfortable. And also, since we have to roll it up all the time, it'll be easier to handle. Yeah, it's not quite as big. Yeah. So, yeah, we're used to sleeping on a full-size bed at home. So, this is about the size of our bedroom at home. <laughs> so, oh, you know, this is going to be very comfortable, and I am absolutely thrilled. So, is this going to work? It's going to work, yes. Yeah, I think it's going to be very comfortable. Yeah, we tried both of us there, and we, we're used to sleeping on that size bed. I think we're going to be very comfortable. It's so cute with the bump out in. I have a little window here into the bedroom. <laughs> I love the fact 
that this thing is spacious with the bump out out but it's actually very workable even if we don't have the bump out out it still really works so that's really cool so this has this really cool little curtain here it's got air circulation up at the top but when you close it, it makes it real cozy in here, kind of den-like and private. So, you know, Elizabeth and I have a little bit of different biological clocks. Because I usually go to bed earlier and I get up real early and she's up late and she sleeps late. It's just the way we work. So this will allow us to, you know, pull it uh, across and at least maybe block out some of the light or something. So that's going to work well. Yeah, I think it's going to be fine. And then we're done. When we're done, and we're going to uh, pack it up for travel. We still have to work out the details. But I'm just going to roll this up. Maybe you could roll it with the cover on the outside. And then I'll have a belt or a bungee or something, I don't know put around this and then there's enough room right here behind this wall this is the, the wall for the slide when the slides out it won't be there when you bring the slide in you with their space back here this mattress will just slide stand right, in there. right there like that yep that's gonna work really well yeah it's gonna be very easy too yep so there's the bed and there's the mattress standing up in that little alcove Perfect. <laughs> yep, it's gonna be. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. We could also um, come up with one for the, the smaller back bed whenever we need it, and that's also gonna easily have room. Right. So good. So I think it's coming together. Yeah. We're really excited about our first inaugural trip, <laughs> yep. which we can't do until after we get the, the trailer inspected, which is about another week, and then we'll go from there. Our first trip will just be a one night overnighter to a local campground just to see how everything works and shake down all the systems and all that. But yeah, as we continue to tweak it, we're just getting closer and closer. Yep. <laughs> you ready for this? Oh yeah, I'm so excited. I am you, so excited. You think she's excited? Look at that big che <laughs> Cheshire rat, cat grin. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm really yeah. excited, hon. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thanks for coming along on the trip with us. We'll take you every step of the way as much as we possibly yep. can. So. And don't forget to please like the video. That helps, really helps us a lot. Yep. Of course, subscribe so you can, you know, see all the great stuff we'll be doing in the future. <laughs> okay, you guys have a great day. Be blessed. Be blessed.